Okay, so we are halfway through analyzing a pool shot where we're going to have a red ball is right like that, a green ball is coming in like that, and it's going to slide in. It's going to contact the red ball perpendicular to this line. This red ball is going to go that way, and then we have to decide what's going to happen with the green ball. But we know what's going to happen with the green ball because from our previous, we said, well, the velocity vectors, because of the simplifications that I made, that all the masses are the same and the velocity of the red ball is initially zero meters per second, that my velocity vectors are going to make a right triangle. So what's going to happen is this green ball is going to go perpendicular to this line. So this green ball is going to head out something along the lines of this. So green ball comes in, strikes, red ball goes that way, green ball goes that way. That's what's going to happen in a pool shot without hardly any, uh, if you have very, very little spin on the balls. Okay, so let's do this as vectors. Let's say that we have this vector here. We'll just pull it down to, to make it in a little bit different area. Mm, we're going to say, let's say that it's moving at 2 meters per second. Now, I want to know what this angle is. I want to know what, what this angle, what that angle is. So I'm going to measure that angle. And that angle I am going to measure to be approximately 50 degrees. So that means that I'm going to have a vector that comes up at 50 degrees, somewhere like here, and I don't quite know how long it's going to be yet. And then I know that. I have something that's going to come in perpendicular to that. It's going to be perpendicular to that and it's going to end up right there. So somewhere right around there I'm going to have my other vector come in like that. That's going to be 90 degrees, that's going to be 40 degrees, and so now I can solve that right triangle. So I can say that um, V2F, because this is object 2, this is object 1, this is object 1, so this is going to be V2, V2F, this is V1F and this is V1I that's V1I so V2F is going to be oh why don't we say 2 meters per second sine 40 degrees two times sine 40 degrees it's going to be 1.3 meters per second. And then we're going to say V1F is going to be 2 meters per second sine 50 degrees. So V1F, just going to change that 40 to a 50, 1.5 meters per second.
Okay, so we made a bunch of simplifications, but the end product of what we figured out from our basic pool shot without any spin and assuming that kinetic energy is conserved is red ball is sitting stationary, green ball is coming in at 2 meters per second. When it hits, the red ball goes this way at 1.3 meters per second and the green ball goes this way at 1.5 meters per second like that. And so this ends up on the side of the pool table and probably bounces off something like that. And this one goes into the pocket and I sink that ball. Okay, that's that.